it's me now. Welcome back to a very special nighttime pouring episode. This is the This Little Piggy Valentine's Day collaboration and I am so excited to be working with this amazing group of artists. Uh, more special tonight, HOA promised that he was going to come and pour with me. So I'm very, very excited about that. He set up the cameras and then he said he had to go get something. But I think I hear him coming now. Lucy, I'm home. <laughs> Hi, honey. Hey, baby. Happy Valentine's Day. Oh, thank you. Happy Fuck. Valentine's Day to you too. What, uh, what, what, what's that? And where did you get it? I got it at Mr. T's garage sale. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, you said you wanted some ball chain for a chain pole. Oh, good. I was worried it was a necklace. <laughs> 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 that's um, that's a little bigger than than ball chain usually is for a chain pole. But okay, we uh, we probably need a really big canvas for this. <laughs> you know what? I happen to have one. Right here! <laughs> How about that, huh? Semper Paratus, man, always prepared. Okay, Indeed. this is a 30-inch convexo round. Uh, we're going to be doing a chain pull tonight, and HOA is going to be helping me, so I'm very, very excited. Um, I'm going to get started. Let me show you the colors real quick, and then we'll put down a base coat, and then we're going to have HOA do some fun things. Okay, so... The first thing we are using in honor of this little piggy is this little piggy in Athena. I love this color. First of all, Athena is the goddess of love and beauty, so she's entirely appropriate to use on Valentine's Day. It's this beautiful rose gold color with an iridescent and a gold shift to it. Just beautiful stuff. And I have mixed it all in my Tipsy Piggy mixing recipe, where I disperse my pigments in rubbing alcohol, and then I use mix pour to fill up the cup, and it gives me this beautiful consistency, which is pure piggy color, because mix dries clear and doesn't have any color to it. So it's a beautiful technique. I'm really, really happy that I figured this out. And uh, nice and easy to use, and I hope you guys have fun playing with it too. So that's Athena is our first one. I have put everything in these squeeze bottles. The second one we are using is Comet, and this also has some Decor Americana Decor Satin Enamels in here, but Comet is a beautiful violet sort of color shifty violet blue. Very, very pretty. I love that one. Okay, so that's the Comet. I have Decor Americana Decor Metallics in 24 karat gold, and we have some Golden's Permanent Violet Dark in this bottle. Okay, and then my base coat is actually Artist Loft Flow Acrylic in black, mixed with a little bit of Liquitex Gloss Medium and Floetrol and water. Pretty thin, not even really leaving a mound. Just sinking into itself right off the bat. So that's gonna be our base coat. We're gonna put that down right now. And then we are going to put some dots. HOA is gonna do it actually. We're gonna draw a heart shape in some dots and then we're gonna put the chain through it and we're gonna chain pull it. So let's go ahead and start with, let's move that out of the way for the moment. Okay, we're going to put this nice thin base coat down on here. Here we go. It's all you, Hollywood. Would you like some gloves? <laughs> what I would like you to do, HOA, is a heart shape with the white first, and I'd like the dots maybe about half an inch apart. That's a lot of dots. Yeah, it is a lot of dots. You're the one who brought back Mr. T's necklace, so... <laughs> so it's probably gonna go something like that. So, okay? Okay. All right. I'm doing this by myself. Well, you're going to do the first one by yourself. Yeah, I got it. The bottom of the V. Okay. I think that's too low. Okay, well, you do it how you think you want it then. Okay. 
You need to be going like a lot wider now. Okay. I think it's... Can you fix it? Just put one like here on top of those two and move it out more of it. No, no. Drops. Yes. Just remember, I are too cute. <laughs> You're very cute. Shape though, so that's good. Okay. Sorry, folks. <laughs> <laughs> now you see why I'm usually on that side of the camera. <laughs> you got paint on your forehead. I would get paint on my forehead. And probably on your glasses. Okay. <laughs> Would you like to come back over there for a few minutes? <laughs> Thank you, my love. Sorry. That's okay. That's okay. We can fix it. Just paint. Maybe we'll put some layers around it. But I am going to add a little bit in here. You didn't leave very wide V up there. Maybe we can do a Fiona finger dip and some of this up. A little bit more heart shaped, but that's okay. It's all good. Okay, I'm actually going to go around this a little bit with the Athena now to make it a little bit bigger. Okay, here we go.
Um, I think I'm going to put one more layer of white around the outside perimeter just to make it a little bit bigger. Arrived at the moment of truth. Okay. Um, <laughs> my gold chain, my Valentine's Day gift from the husband of awesomeness. Okay. I'm gonna put one up there for now. Okay, so I'm gonna gather this up in my hand. HOA and I were actually watching, was it Gemma77 yeah. on YouTube? And she was doing these beautiful chain pulls. And she did this really cool heart one, which is what got me thinking about this and asking HOA if he had any chain. <laughs> okay, so we're going to start this about here. I haven't used this chain before, so I'm not entirely sure how this is going to go. Place this along the edge on that white. Yes, my love, I am ready. Okay, here we go. Soak those in some water and wipe them off. Actually, let's just wipe them off. Keep your towel real quick. I am going to use the thin ones though. <clears throat> that looks pretty cool. I love all those colors. All right. That worked out pretty good. What do you think, HOA? Yeah, very cool. All right. So we're going to gather this up in my hand again. Okay, that's pretty cool. Wow. What do you think about that uh, rather large empty area in the center? <laughs> but what if you tried to do in the, in that center area if you try to do like a marble in a heart well what if I just took a little bit more paint and put it around in the center and tried to do a very small one in the middle that's a smaller ball chain or the same stuff I do have this other necklace 
that Tatiana gave me that I could try to do in the middle one. Maybe let's do that. That sounds like it might be neat. Okay, we're gonna go one more small heart in the middle of that. Actually, I think I'm gonna start with the permanent violet dark. And I'm just gonna do the same thing with the dots again. That's more than a little. Should I use the smaller one, you think? Yep. No, 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 that's great. There's just there's a lot of paint there. But what I'm going to do is something that I saw Gemma doing, which was very cool. She took a spoon, the back of the spoon, and just lifted some paint off. Yes, 
Well, that's not bad. <laughs> Bless you. Sure. What do you think of that? Very cool. Um, I'm just going to take a little bit of this black off of here. It's like kind of a lot. And kind of pull the colors. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. I think this looks really, really pretty. Um, I'm very excited. It's actually starting to do some of this little fractally stuff around the edges, which is really, really cool. I love the colors. The Athena is in there. The permanent violet dark, the gold, and the beautiful comet. I think are going to look really, really amazing when they're dry. So. This was awesome. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. We wish you a very, very happy Valentine's Day. And uh, I'll show you guys when it's dry. True. I dig all the negative space. You like the negative space? Yeah. I think it actually looks pretty neat. So, should we turn it around for them yeah. so they could see it? Yep. How it actually looks? <laughs> so that's pretty neat. We'll show you when it's dry. We'll be right back. Okay, so this is a few days later and our beautiful chain pull is dry. This looks so cool, you guys. <laughs> I'm loving the 3D aspect of this. And I think that we really got that because of the second chain pull in the middle. It added a lot of depth behind there. <laughs> These colors are so cool. I love that comet and the 24 karat gold and of course the Athena and the permanent violet dark. Just really, really pretty stuff happening. Gorgeous bling. You see some of the piggies blinging. You see little bits of that permanent violet dark. You see Athena in there adding some warmth and beauty and light, just like she does in real life. So this turned out really, really cool. I had a lot of fun with this. I love that part right there. And the coolest thing, can you guys see these little tiny fractals on the edges of the white <laughs> of the comet? It's so cool. Sorry, my fingers are in the way. That's so neat. But I love how this one turned out. And this was really fun. It was awesome. I enjoyed pouring with HOA so much. And uh, of course, we actually shot this video before he had his ankle surgery, which is why he was walking around. But we didn't want to miss being part of this collaboration. So. This turned out really, really fun and really cool, and I am having a blast working on this. So thank you guys so much for being here, and thank you so much to this little piggy for this awesome collaboration and all of the other amazing artists that are going to be in this. Hope you guys will check out everybody's videos because they have put a lot of time and effort and energy into making them awesome for you guys. Uh, we wish you a very, very happy Valentine's Day, and the collaboration will be continuing next weekend as well. So... This was fun. This was a lot of fun. I really had a good time with this. Thank you guys so much for being here. I hope you have a beautiful, beautiful day. And happy Valentine's Day to you all from HOA and I and Baxter. We'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.